right, guys. When did I have come to Jesus meeting? And it's about something really important. If I ask you for your email address and it ends with at Hotmail or at MSN or at SBCGlobal.net or at Yahoo or Ymail, if it ends with anything except at gmail.com, I just put you in a box. And you're like, well, Tyler, that's on you. You shouldn't put me in a box. Well, hate to say it, but if you have anything besides at Gmail as your email address and it's not attached to a company or organization, you talk just like I just said you did, okay? You got it, sweetheart? Because Gmail is, has, it's not, I could say, oh, it's winning, and you think, oh, it's like Charlie Sheen, he's not winning, no. Gmail has won. Gmail is the best email thing. Literally, Yahoo and MSN and all these other ones, usually you can forward an email address. So like, say I had a Gmail account, and I'm like, oh, I don't use this, I wanna have all my emails forward automatically to the Gmail account I do use. You do it, you go in, type a couple things, and it emails everything you get as an email to your new email address. The other places are charging to do that because that's the only way they can make money out of people making this mass exodus to get away from their email. Nobody's using it anymore. It's not good. Gmail has won, okay? And if you're like, if, the only reason you would think like that it didn't win is if you work for Yahoo and you need in the, in the email department, which Yahoo I don't even think knows is still there. Seriously, the, uh, the uh, okay, so your Gmail account, it serves as your login for the whole internet. It serves as the login for your Google Drive, your Google Photos, your YouTube account. Um, what am I missing? Nope, nope, you're not involved. What, everything you use on the internet, it serves as your login. It, unless Facebook's your login, which is fine. But Gmail's one in the email department, okay? You remember when they had like, Abercrombie and Fitch had its own email address. Like that's how cool I was in 10th grade. It was at a and f, a and f dot com, and you can get your own email. I'm not kidding. I got Batman at a and f dot com, the email address. That's right, you're looking at it. I bet you didn't know you married that. You're lucky, you're lucky. Uh, they discontinued it. That was 2000, like, what is it? Two, year 2000 was a weird year for email. But we have a winner. We have someone on the top of the mountain and it is Gmail, okay? The only reason you should have a Ymail account is if you play fantasy football and you have to have it to sign in, okay? And then you're gonna have to request a password reset every like, I don't know, nine months when you wanna sign back into your, your fantasy football league and that's how much you should use it because it's terrible. So don't use anything but Gmail unless it's like your work email and then it honestly, if your business, your school, your organization is not attached to like a Google Apps for business or education, call your tech person and say, what are we doing with our life and fix it because you should be using it. It is the best. It has won. It's where you should be in life. So that's what I have to say. And um, if you disagree with me, you should subscribe. If you agree with me, you should subscribe. If you're still watching at this point, you should subscribe because we're best friends. Peace. Bye.